yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use land calm but my products way fucking better shoot stack hey, cheddar hey, uh. i know you're waiting for another episode uh, another episode i know you've been waiting for another episode i know you've been waiting yeah let it fucking go Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crush can of brew from the fucking stove Yo Yo What's up y'all It's Lord Shoe X And you watch another episode of Lord of Perfected Work I'm a polymath based out of Georgia And if you haven't been to my website ShoeLovesRebels.com You should check it out It's a lot of shit on there A lot of cool shit A lot of projects I've been working on Y'all know what it is, man. Same shit, different toilet. But today, I'm gonna switch shit up like I did yesterday. Get down to some practical shit. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. Same shit, different toilet, bro. <laughs> In real life. The, the name of the stream today is Tears of a Clown. I don't know if y'all listen to Smokey Robinson, but I think he got a song called Tears of a Clown. <laughs> uh, Smokey Robinson is a songwriter for the Motown record label out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, you might be too young if you don't know what I'm talking about, but fuck it. I figure I'll throw it, throw it in, throw out some little free gems for y'all. Can't, can't be free gems, right? <laughs> but yeah What's good everybody It's good to see y'all back in the chat again Back in back in Shoe Live Well this is Lord Perfected Work Not Shoe Live But y'all get the point It's good to see y'all back in here with your boy As you can see I've kind of been switching things up the past few days Just cause a lot of different shit been going on Personally And I'm not gonna go too deep into it And I'm not gonna do super long streams very much anymore because not that I'm out of information but I'm just the more I live life the more I start to realize how some of the things I talk about if you haven't worked hard enough on yourself and building yourself up it's just it's all for nothing so I kind of want to uh, touch on a couple key points today which y'all know what it is <laughs> y'all know how I do I pretty much will say anything on these shits, so just bear with me. But I do want to touch on some key points, some practicality in life that I think will help the self. Because uh, most most of this channel deals with spirituality, and in, in, you know any form. You know I make music on here, I write songs on here, I talk about spirituality on here, I talk about observations in life. You know this this is a channel for you to build yourself to be your best you so most of the time if I uh, if I say I'm touching base on something it's only because I'm not gonna go super deep into it so just bear with me okay well yeah uh, shit so so much has happened today 
kind of being bombarded by a range of different emotions. So we're going to experience this together, you and I, going through these different feelings. Well, for starters, uh, just so much different shit going on around, around me. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I'm seeing shit from my perspective, but I try to look at shit subjectively, you know? Try to step outside of myself and see it from the angles of others. I've only been recently doing that a lot just to see, you know, how it feels. See what it feel like for real, for real. Put yourself in that position. And honestly, it's just bringing me like to a different, different mental state and emotional state because shit is weird. Experiencing shit from someone else's perspective, but not just like on a first person kind of level, but like stepping in their shoes and trying to feel that moment and trying to you know, experience that moment, like almost like play it back and be in that moment. Now, usually when I do this, I'm still talking and I'm still reacting. So I'm first person, third person, and second person, fourth person, fifth person. <sighs> Honestly, this has been the most interesting few days just going through all this different shit as of late. Experiencing what I've been experiencing these past few days has really like, I don't know. I feel like my life is changing again. Just on a different, like, I feel like I'm just going through a different portal of life. And I really, I really want to bring people with me all the time because I'm so people oriented which is weird because I'm really not and by what what I mean by that is that I believe that humans primordials I believe all races of beings can coexist in you know the singular this one singular spot where everything kind of ceased to exist because we're no longer living out what's within, you know what I'm saying? We all are together looking within. You know, this is like a vision. This has been a vision of mine for so long. And whenever I go to that vision, you know, it's about the closest thing that'll bring me to tears. You know what I'm saying? It's about, it's about the closest thing that could bring me to tears, which it's been so long since I've actually cried that like, if I'm not laughing excessively, it's the only thing that can make me cry is laughter. Which is, I, I feel like that's a good thing, you know, instead of sadness. Only only thing that I get out of sadness is my intuitive centers are affected by this. So uh, my mind goes through turmoil. My stomach goes through turmoil. My heart center goes through turmoil, but I myself physically can walk through that shit and almost just like not, you know, just not think about it or even notice it. And, you know, that's a good thing. It's a good thing to be able to do that sometimes. Some people express emotions differently, you know, a different way. And, you know, we, sh we should be all cool with that. We should, everybody should be fine how they express their emotions with each other because knowing how others express helps us build our emotional intelligence. So just looking at each other and experiencing the moments of each other brings a certain level of intimacy to each other. And that's what I seek right now, personally for myself. So... As I've been going through these different emotional levels, I just been feeling more grounded, honestly, and it, it it's inspiring me because I don't want to say forcing me, but it's it's been inspiring me to want to ground certain things 
that I visualize into reality, but in a practical way. You know, taking the things that one visualizes or emotionally feels and grounding them into reality. And having the emotional intelligence to discern between uh, what's, what's, uh, what would have the right effect, which still would be good or bad. So what I feel is the truth that I want to express because I don't want to say right or wrong because certain people express shit differently. And to them, what might be wrong to them might be right to me. And what might be right to me might be wrong to them. Which is why altogether, the concept of that shit should just be gone anyways because everything is, everything is expressed from the person expressing it. So, you know, I like to think that people are afraid of what they don't know or what they don't understand. Which is why we even have a concept of right or wrong because people sometimes, sometimes they just feel like they can't express properly. So that's why you have to be emotional, emotionally intelligent to be able to help a person walk through that and if you feel that you are then you should don't don't force anything upon anybody you can always there's always a way of doing shit you know what i'm saying which is why more and more i'm just getting to a point now where i'm just like i don't want to i don't even want to talk unless it's coming from a place of action because usually people talk but then there's no action. But if I'm already committed to the actions, what I'm saying while I'm committing this action is law. Or in this case, it's manifestation. I work I work too hard as it is. So I'm taking my power back com- through communication, through emotions, all that shit. And I would recommend that you do the same because it will save you a lot of uh, a lot of time. I just seen two blue jays fly by. If that ain't a spiritual sign, I don't know what is. But you know, someone else might see it as just two birds flying by, right? And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. You know, every day I just get more and more to a state like, damn. As much as I know, should I continue to keep going? Should I continue to keep going? Pushing forward, taking my force and going forward, you know? When you get that feeling, the best thing to do, I feel like, is to create. You know, that's your purpose. That's your purpose in life, is to create. Whether it be human beings, art, music, which is art, (laughs) you know, architecture, which is another form of art, you know, just create, create from the heart. Cause that's, that's, that's what will lead you. That is your, that's your motherfucking North star. No matter what, that's, that's where you really want to be be at in the end because in all honesty a lot of the time we doing shit for other people you know there's a way to do things through yourself for other people you know we we're we're not enslaved by our responsibilities you know what I'm saying and to me, I feel like a responsibility only exists if it's if it's something that you don't want to do. Which in that case, it's time to find find your perspective again. It's time for you to align with the real perspective. Cause a responsibility, this is something you should already be doing. You know what I'm saying? Depending on whatever energy signature you subscribe to, as far as your personal self, because 
let's just be real. We're in a time where people can be whatever they want to be. If you want to be a woman and you a man, you can do that shit. We're in we're in those times. Granted, you're born with a gender, but we're beyond this. We've always been beyond this. Okay, y'all? We've always been beyond it, but we're in we're in that age where we are leaving this and we're on a different dimension of thinking, which is why we have shit like this even happening around us. Because people are no longer just envisioning themselves as they are. They're grounding it into reality. And people feel some type of way about that. A lot of people do because people who are in lower vibrations usually feel like their circumstances are given to them because that's just where life is. That's just how life is. You know, I can't speak for everybody, but... Nine times out of ten, that's probably how it goes. People feel like, oh, I'm just subjected to this life, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? All all, all paths lead home. No matter what, all paths lead home. It takes you as an individual to really find where home is in your heart. 1111 told me today, follow your heart. Because that's just that's the realest shit, man. If if you're going to fucking go somewhere, let your heart lead the way. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you got a brain. You know, use strategy. Use logic. There should be something in here that makes you inspired enough to use strategy and logic. It shouldn't be something that you have to force. You know what I'm saying? If you got to force it, that shit ain't real. You know what I'm saying? It's people who genuinely love something so much that they become rich from it. It's not about you love money so much that you going out here doing everything to get it. No, you have to love something so much that one day you wake up and you are rich because of that passion, that love that you put towards whatever you're doing. But we're in a time where... All, all these illusions of fucking getting money and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I play the game too, y'all, because it's a game, you know? We can have fun in this game, you know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be fucking miserable. Well, you see, when somebody else shows you a perspective or a vision through television, you know what I'm saying, and this is what you're seeing, or if you're hearing something... And they're telling you a vision through your hearing and you're seeing all the time. It's hard for you to even want to break out of something that you just always constantly being badgered into your head until you start, you know, turning off the tools, the tools of brainwash. When you stop fucking with the brainwash shit, because sooner or later, all this shit is just going to keep pouring down on you more and more. And you don't want that because... You deserve the life that you envision in your mind. I'm going to always say, whether it be good or bad, you always deserve the vision you have in your mind because your purpose, if you live it to the fullest, will change something in somebody else. It Change is change. You know what I'm saying? Energy is going to flow how it's going to flow. That's why it's up to us as individuals to understand that and to understand self. Because the energy going to flow how it's going to flow. You can do anything you want to do. Because you're special. You've always been special. The world made you might, The world may have made you feel like you aren't special. But I'm pretty sure if you watch this channel, you know you the shit. People always coming at you about it. But you know you the shit. And people only going to react a certain way because, one, they themselves just can't. They can't get over the fact that you are, you are, that you're great and you're excellent. Some people still working on themselves, but that's where you come in to be the, the front, the front man for the ultimate band. <laughs> Cause no matter what, we all got a role to play, right? 
But that's the thing. You can decide that role. Customize your character, man. You can look. Customize your character. I look like a fucking fruit roll-up right now. You know what I'm saying? I look like I got electrocuted by lightning right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This, this is just another day in the life of Lord Shoe X, man. You know? Nothing too nothing too deep. I'm really off the deep the deep end and I'm off the deep shit. Cause the deeper I go, I'm always led back to the same thing. All this shit is is a single point of understanding or overstanding. It's all the single point that we all focus on. It's like in the middle of the circle, it's that little point for the symbol for the sun. That's why. Single point. That shit offering the basic information. You gotta think, if the sun represents the ego, that means there's a sun inside of you. If the sun makes plants grow and it made you grow, that means you are the sun. Like, full embodiment of you. You're physically walking sun. That, well, the body is. So, and sperm comes from that also. So, the soul is also the sun. See, we're physical creations from the sun. Which is why people worship the sun. Which is why people worship the sun. Because they know. <laughs> but it's not even about worshiping the sun. It's about the whole. Remember, as above, so below. That means, okay, I'm the sun. That means the sun is me. But they always hit you with the what came first, the egg or the chicken. <laughs> That's why that question is always so funny to me. Because... What came first, the egg or the chicken? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just always love how every day is a different day on Earth. But on the sun, which supposedly the earth revolves around. There is no time, right? Unless the sun revolves around something, right? Which is why tomorrow is kind of an important day. See, everybody's talking about the Lionsgate portal. It's only because it's just numero numerologically um, beneficial. One who starts to when you see the sliver of the moon in the sky, one starts to think and visualize towards the full moon to manifest that vision and surrendering to the forces of nature. Because remember the chicken and the egg thing, right? What came first? I just be like, damn. One thing that always pulls me back into this shit is how everything has the creator's name in it. Everything that makes a shape naturally has the creator's name in it. Which is why I just like was staring off, just looking at like the shape of the trees, the shape of your blood vessels, the shape of your your brain, the shape of everything. Everything looks the same on all levels. And it all has the same leather. It lets you know what type of energetic signature we dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> it 
lets you know what type of energy signature we're dealing with. But see, it's only so much that one person can understand because they may not look at reality and observe all day long or observe what nature does and how peaceful and how soft and serene nature is when it's not being obstructed by certain type of energy. See, granted, our neighborhoods might be man-made, but nature resides within them. And nature grows just like we do. And as we grow, we become more intelligent. Same thing with this nature around us. If anything, we become more intelligent as nature grows, not the other way around. See, we man-made this neighborhood and put nature into it. But see, nature is all around us, even in this man-made neighborhood, because it was made from nature. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, we always gonna be moving at the same pace. See, it's always some shit that try to make you think, oh, we going against that, we going against this. This is a race, that is a race. This is this and that is that. I just came up with a word. I made my own word two days ago. So when I say it to my girl or when she said to me, we know what time it is. See, it's not just, it's not just looking at this world and just going along with it is creating your own world inside of it but it's gonna take work to do that right see we got we got the spirituality right we got the we got the vision right but see it's gonna take some work because for well, one we gotta have our necessities right you know food water shelter don't need clothes at least not where we're going. <laughs> Food, water, shelter. You can create this anywhere. You buy a, a patch of land. All you got, all you need is a TP on that motherfucker and some sleeping bags and a lot of condoms. What the fuck else do you need? But I digress because. Eventually, it's going to be a time where shit got to go a certain type of way. And it's either self-reliance or compliance. You know what I'm saying? And like I said yesterday, you should want, you should want to on your own specifically go out and emit your energy and ground your shit into reality how you see fit because like I said where I'm going or where we're going I don't need clothes shit I'll buy a hundred acres and put a literal TP in the middle of it and chill with the animals all day and garden up some shit Cause I mean, damn, now I'm seeing a cardinal. I done seen a cardinal and I done seen two bluebirds. Love you. <laughs> if you watching this outside of Twitch, you should make a Twitch account. You should subscribe to my channel you subscribe at tier three, I will give you all my latest projects for free. Not to mention all my, I'll give you all my albums up to date for free. And my latest projects. That's over 30 albums. Just 
saying. That's a lot of goddamn music. Turn on your notifications so that when I go live, you know what the fuck is up. Because I'm not playing. I'm on this bitch as much as I can be on this bitch. If I got time, I'm going to make time, man. Because I'm starting to see now more and more every day how the less I fuck, the less that I fuck around with shit that it serves no purpose, the more time I have towards my purpose. You know what I mean? It's always time to build the mental. It's always time to build the emotional. It's always time to build the intuition. And it's always time to eat too. You know, you gotta stay strong. So, find you an exercise you like to do that, if hell, as long as you do it for 15 to 30 minutes a day, you good. You know what I'm saying? Get closer to the people you love. Shit, try your best to. They're gonna try and trigger the fuck out of you, but who gives a fuck, man? Okay? You gotta be stronger than that shit. But I can't tell you what to do. Cause when the time comes, and you fucking old as fuck, and you didn't eat a good diet, and you didn't work on self, you fucking 50 years old Cause that's probably how far you gonna get <laughs> You gonna be like damn I didn't do shit Because I didn't get close to people Cause I didn't create with the people Cause I didn't try for the people I mean you try for yourself So that's a start right So keep pushing Try for self So that you align with the people Cause at the end of the day, like I always tell y'all, my healing is y'all healing. Shit ain't gonna be sunny every day, you know what I'm saying? Shit ain't gonna be perfect every day. But that's why you gotta keep working on yourself. So you can move past that shit. So you can see, hey, I can do whatever the fuck I want. And nobody can motherfucking stop me. Only thing that can stop you is what's in here. What's in here and what's in here? You eat shitty and you think shitty and you feel shitty. More than likely, your life is going to be shitty. You know what I'm saying? What What is fear? What is fear? Is that something that you created to stop yourself from doing something? People will always find an excuse to stop themselves. You know what I'm saying? They're always going to find a reason to stop themselves from doing some shit. I'm guilty of that shit my goddamn self. You know what I'm saying? But every day, we're working on self. And we're really understanding and seeing shit from people's perspective. Eventually, you'll learn. Everybody is chosen by something. Some type of energy. No matter what. I just hope, for your sake, you learn how to work with that energy so that you master it. And it becomes a tool to your greatness instead of your demise. Because we all have a bad gift, what one would deem bad, because everybody always got something to say about who you are. But you were designed this way, okay? You're designed this way. So learn your design, please. Learn your design. And then use it for what you would deem good. <laughs> What's good? I just look at it as what, what I would do to have the greater effect. My cause, my greater cause will have a greater effect. Find that greater cause. Fuck it. Some of y'all greater causes might be some wild shit. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean that it can't serve humanity in a way that would create change. You know what I'm saying? We want change. We want change as often as possible. 
granted people probably won't like that too much because a lot of people are set in their ways and don't want to move out of that change you know what i'm saying imagine if every week the way the world is changed nigga you wouldn't have you you would never ever be able to judge anybody you would never you would you would be forced to work with other people that's why the world don't fucking change now like Come on, you will be ha you are forced to have to work with others. You are forced that you, like reality would literally be forcing you to do this shit. Because when shit changing like that, you have to know the right people. If you know, you might as well know every motherfucking body. Cause you're gonna need somebody for something, some specific thing. Shit is changing every fucking day. You gotta move every fucking week, every two weeks. Cause see, right now this reality, this reality is planted into what it, what it, it, the farthest it can go. You work, you make money, you die. That's as far as this reality can take us. People who find spiritual enlightenment in this reality don't even live inside of that. Guess how they're living? They're living through constant change on a fucking almost daily basis. Well, time to pick up and move. Time to go to this place. Time to go to that place. People who become fucking rich as hell, they do that shit all the time. Every day that something is changing. Something in their company is changing. Something in their family is changing. And they're fully interacting and aware within that. Which is how they're able to consume so much fucking power to begin with. Because when something's constantly changing, you yourself end up like being the same it's just everything around you changes but because your awareness is after living more than a year because it only takes just a couple two to three months to build a real solid habit of a lifestyle like that and you minimalist but you have endless money right every day some new shit changing you basically just out here like okay well, everything around me is changing, but I'm not. What the fuck? Did I break something within myself? Nah, man. When shit changing like that constantly, your level of awareness gets so fucking high that all that change is just a lead up to the next solid point, to the next single point. Because you start to realize in all that chaos is there's that single point, like the sun. All that chaos. But remember, we got to be practical. We got to be practical in that shit. Yeah, we got all this energy around us, but how can we ground that shit? First, we got to ground ourselves into it. Like I said, this reality is grounded into what it is, right? So we have to ground ourselves into a mindset and lifestyle and a way of being. That allows us to have an awareness of our own within our own reality. Grounding ourselves into that reality that we create. That even if the world is changing around us, we aren't affected by it. And there's only a couple ways you can do this. It's called being a nomad or it's called going off the grid. Straight up. I read today about a guy named Prester John. I don't know if I ever spoke about him on here, but I'm gonna just type his name in the chat. I read about Prester John today. This isn't my first interaction with Prester John either. I've been on a wild goose hunt for this nigga for shit going on a couple years now. But Prester John has led me to some profound things. <laughs> But let's just talk about him really quick and then I'm gonna get off this shit. So Preston John was an emperor or in simple, in a phrase, a simple phrase, a king of kings. So he ruled over many kings. That means he was a king of kingdoms, but he had kings that ruled those individual kingdoms. But Preston John said, you know what? I'm going to become a priest. 
and a nomadic priest. This will still be my kingdom, but I'm not going to live in no castle, none of that bullshit. I'm going to travel through my entire kingdom and live in a tent. Because I made this shit. I set this shit up how I want it to be. Now I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'm a priest to my religion in my own kingdom. And I got other kings ruling my kingdom for me. So, And I set a king in place to, for, to rule over all of these kings. To follow. That's from my bloodline. And I'm going to just roam my own kingdom. As a nomad. As a priest. A, pre, a nomadic priest in my own shit. And live out of ten. And I just thought, like, well, European kings and queens and shit, they don't really let their kids just wander off into the world like that. They usually keep them in the kingdom. And then they pass on the kingdom to whoever offspring they that seems fit for the role. Right? How is it that in America, or really, yeah, we'll just say America. How is it that here... As soon as we turn fucking 14, niggas' egos start flaring up and we got to get the fuck out. We got to get the fuck on, right? You got you to gotta go to college and you got to do this. See, how can one create an empire, right? One, you didn't set me up for empire to be created, but you want me to do all of these things that you yourself wouldn't fucking do, right? But now, I'm picking up the pieces to... What the fuck you left me See And this is from the perspective of a male I wouldn't say a female because Honestly y'all should stay Within the kingdom Because in kingdom life a, a princess Would only go to Whatever the they, The king sees he Oh I gotta make a Some kind of Collaboration with another kingdom this princess needs to marry this king or this prince. So, you know, that's just how that shit went in those times, which I'm pretty sure that's how it kind of still goes now to a degree. You know, you have to have some kind of prominence for them to even notice you. Now, there's no kingdoms anymore, at least not here. All we have is Capitalism at its finest, you know, everybody being exploited from the top to the bottom, not just, you know, the the lower class, which would be considered peasants or serfs, voluntary slavery, but even kings are being, you know, there, there's an emperor, but this emperor is not in the favor of even his own court, and by court, I mean kings and queens and you know, knights and all, you know, y'all know what a court is. He don't even rock with them like that. So, when it all comes down to it, you know, it's time to change how we do shit in this generation and beyond. Because, granted, we here and, you know, everybody, I, will, I didn't choose to be born. Okay, whatever. You know, we all got a choice to make at, at this point because now we already here. So... What choice you gonna make? When it comes down to it, what choice you gonna make? Every day we're given a chance to live out what exactly what we wanna do. But at the same time, how is that gonna help the whole? If we not willing to help our own families, healing ourselves will go nowhere because that's where it starts. Family is family. All right, fine. We'll just call the earth family. Family is family. We working on ourselves. What's it going to lead to if if we don't keep uh, grounding our ideals and bringing people who are already like-minded into the shit? Because if they're already looking for money, that means they're looking for opportunities, right? If you gave each of your family members a million dollars today, you already know what the fuck they would do with it, which is why you don't want to fuck with them anyways, right? That's what it is. It's only going to go so far 
when you start to realize that the only way that you can change your perspective on people is through yourself. No matter what, you got to understand this. But I can't tell you what to do, but I'm just letting you know, like, it's really the only way. These people, only, only reason they're reacting to whatever their reality is because they feel like that's their reality. Which can be changed by one, one individual showing them the change. Now, right now, my advice to everybody is for real, for real, learn practical skills on survival. Learn how to plant, learn how to collect, you know, water, learn the difference between different types of water, learn how to clean distilled water, you know what I'm saying? Learn how to start a fire in more ways than one. Learn how to tie knots in more ways than one. Basically, just take boy boy and girl scouts, adult one on one, because that's what's gonna serve you in the long run, anyways. But you know what it is, y'all. I'm Lord Shoe X, and you just got done watching. Well, you just watched another episode of Lord Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check that shit out. It's got a lot of good stuff on there. Pretty soon, I'll be adding some more stuff, so y'all stay tuned. In the meantime, as things manifest, I will let y'all know, as always. Much love to you, yours, and the world. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. I'm out this bitch. Jabronis everywhere I see I'm feeling like it's rock bottom where I fucking go Nigga, I study Stone Cold 316 I keep a fish crushed can of brew from the fucking stove Bye, see you later.